Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Outlanders. We are once again here at a scientist district, or what will become a scientist district, and quite a bit of progress has been made. Let's duck in here and show you exactly what we've got. So I've got myself some rather plain spruce walls and a rather plain back wall and rather plain well, front wall and back wall and side walls. It's in fact really plain in here. But we've got quite a bit of work to do, of course, to make this thing actually functional before we can start thinking about moving our crystal in here. So, without further ado, let's get on that. Now, the first thing I thought I should do is build a containment field for it. Now, I'm going to put that surrounded by black and white yellow carpet and with light underneath to make sure the lights actually go off properly so this bit is well lit when I remove all the torches. Now, I do want this thing to be somewhere near the middle, but also somewhere near the back, because we want... Actually, yeah, it will be somewhere near the back. So if we go here, one, two, and then go up from there, one, something like that. Uh, this needs to be ten wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if we make that a square, that should work. Now that we've got our uh, plot laid out, we probably should put a little plinth or something. So we make this out of, what's this, uh, andesite blocks, and then put something on top of that or inside it to make it nice and elevated off the ground. That should be good because, as I say, as I said a couple of episodes ago, we still don't know much about what the crystal is or any of its properties or anything like that. So we really do need to be very safe with this. So a bit of stone here and then a nice glass chamber, chamber around it to keep it safe. And that's five, wait, that's six by six, so that should be enough space and enough space for it to grow if it does grow. And this time we're going to use clear glass instead of the cyan glass I did last time. Now let's be careful not to trap ourselves in and build this up to um, a fair bit above. We'll use slabs, I think, to cap it off. So let's get this as a reasonably big chamber so we have thing, enough room to, to for it to grow, as I said earlier. Now we've got our containment chamber in and with all the lights, I'm thinking I probably should change this bit here to a darker color or a red color. So probably not red concrete because I don't think that's going to be good enough. A darker red is needed, and I'm thinking granite, actually. The red block, it. where's my food? So, where do we have enough, firstly? And we don't have any, which might be a bit of a problem. None in there, none in there, none in there. So we're going to have to go hunting for some. And thankfully, there's a nice ravine nearby, in which there's plenty of granite nearby in to get. Right, hopefully I've got enough. I don't think I actually, actually I don't think I've do, but we're gonna know exactly how much I've got left, and that was a bit silly. We do need to be careful because this is just one block above the the bit that you just saw there, the underneath part, which I really do need to fill in or terraform, which we might be, have the time to do later today. So let's get started on putting all this new granite in, and then we can figure out what we're doing next. And having a look at that, I think that's massively improved the look of this. It certainly makes this area look as if something is something you're not supposed to go into. Now, I'm thinking I should not throw my pickaxe on the ground. I'm thinking I should probably light this up area up a little bit more. So, if I have some more carpet somewhere around here, I can do something special, which is... Where's my black carpet? There it is. Put a line of this black carpet going all the way around the outside of this and that also allows me to light this bit up a bit more so let's get on that and as you can see i probably should do that because there's a creeper over here and having a look at that i think that looks very neat it's, it's well not very neat but it is looking pretty good it's got the yellow and black it's got the red it's looking like this is really a danger zone now what i want to do here is build something to as a monitoring station which does mean having to get some kind of i think it, i want it white and bone blocks is sort of white but i would like quartz and i don't have a lot of that so i'm going to have to make do with bone blocks i think but what we want here is some kind of thing here just 
some kind of box with a monitoring station. So we want glass here and here. And then from here we can keep an eye on the crystal as well as have a few monitoring stations. So what we might do is have a pipe of some sort coming across here and coming into here to feed the information into the box. So let's build this up a bit. And I only have a few of these. So we might need to be a little bit cautious careful on how we do this. And with the white concrete I think that looks a lot better. It certainly gives a little bit more of a scientific look that I'm going for here. Now the floor isn't quite good so I think I'll change that for andesite which I did get myself some earlier. So let's dig up this floor and we can put the andesite in. And looking at that it is looking pretty good so I should build another one on this side and as you can see, I've got the concrete in, I just need to put in the rest of the andesite. With these chambers here, I think we need to put some kind of reinforced glass to make sure that if there is any leakages from this, from this containment chamber that doesn't go elsewhere. As you can see, I've got ourselves a white wall, a wall here, so any radiation of sorts should bounce off, we hope, into this area, which means this glass needs to be uh, pretty pretty well done and I've got myself some regular glass here and I think if I'm able to glaze it over with some white dye that should make it look as if it is reinforced which of course it will be so white glass and white concrete this isn't going to be the best look but I think it's going to do the job and looking at that it does look pretty okay it's not the best look in the world but it does its job and the glass definitely makes it look as if this is a little bit more reinforced than what that is which probably isn't the best thing but i do want this to be see-through and we're going to say that this is indeed reinforced glass as well but we've got another problem on our hands at the moment and that is trying to make sure we can monitor this thing now i did have the idea of putting in some observers since it's got that face on it so I've got enough cobble, I think, and enough quartz and enough redstone around, I think. Redstone, yes, I've got some. So we should be able to make ourselves some observers. Three might not be enough. Ah, yes, because of redstone. Okay, get another redstone block out or two. And into redstone. And now into more observers. Seven should be more than enough, we hope. So... Where's my silk touch pickaxe? There it is. And if we put the silk touch, sorry, if we put the observer here, like so, that there it observes, and then we can also put one here or next to it actually would do. And then we can do the same on the other side. And then we need to put some pipe work to make sure it actually gets into here. There we go, I did make a couple more observers to, well, observe the crystal. So now that isn't the best look in the world, but I think we can do deal with it. So now what we really need to do is figure out how we're going to get the information from these observers over to these two monitoring stations. Now, we're, realistically, these two observers should be linked in some way so they can pass the information to both in case this stuff uh, monitors something different to this stuff. So what we should have is some kind of pipeway and I think I'll need to do get some dirt so I can measure that those pipes and something like this and we do we need to make sure we go on the outside this of this just a little bit more to make sure that when we put in our pipelines like so they don't uh, interfere with the glass so something like that and then our corner here will be a little bit interesting hmm I didn't quite think this through did I the other solution I have is to bring the cables and such out and then into the ground and then they go by underground cables into these two segments, which I think would be a bit better. It means I don't have to go around corners except for that, which I just did wrong, because if I need to make sure it goes into here. So something like that might do. I'm not entirely... I put that in the wrong place too, didn't I? They Like that... And then like that, and if I keep stacking them on top, hopefully, like so, it should meet up. Then if I go from underneath here, like that, it does meet up perfectly. Perfect. So I just need to repeat that a few more times, and that should be okay. 
like so, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Oh, come on. Anyway, so let's get on that and then we should be good to continue this and put some more bits in. And having a look at that, that actually looks pretty reasonable, although I think I might want to reduce it to just a single length, so, or single cable. So if I take out this lot here, which I know I've just put it all in, but I should be able to get a nice bit here. I probably shouldn't have taken out these ones. There we go, and stack up like so, and then put in some more things there. Then from, if we look at the front, that actually looks, on the left, looks a lot better than on the right, I think. So let's get rid of the ones on this side and continue from there. I'm also experimenting a little bit with the way these look. I decided to do a little bit of a cables into this side, although that does mean, possibly means I should be going around the other side, but I'm not sure if this on the right or this on the left looks better. I suppose it really should come from the outside here. And ultimately, I think, hmm, that's actually a bit of a difficult decision there because it looks okay on both sides. But I reckon this one's probably better because we should probably actually do something like this instead and just run the cabling supposedly on the ground like that. And then if we do look at that, that looks... Actually, that looks way worse on the right now, I reckon. So let's get rid of that, leave it as it was, and come back to what it was in the top and get rid of this zombie. So which one is better? That's something to decide on. And as you can see, I've decided to go with this design on the right. However, I've also decided to make a slight stylistic change. I'm going to get rid of the bottom here and make it a floating chamber. So these things are doing more than just... Uh, monitoring, they're also holding up the entire thing, so that way the crystal is being held off the ground, unlike it is back at our base. So that also means we need to make this thing in here red or out of this granite material. So, and that possibly means we should extend the danger zone this way a bit as well. So, if we mine this up, make it all into granite, we should be good to continue on with more stuff. Having a look at that, I think that looks a lot better. It doesn't have this weird plinth at the bottom, and that certainly makes it look a little bit more sciencey and all that. Now, off camera, I, which I again forgot to record a clip, I've put in some bits. I ran out of white concrete, so this stone will have to do for now, although I think I may replace it later on. Now, I probably want to mark these things. So this one is room one. So if we get rid of that like that and get and put in something like this and then there is that a one yeah that looks like a one and then we do the same on this side although one like that and like that is that a two i it better be a two not a five and come on like so down across and down and like that and that's a two good i didn't stuff that up completely which would have been embarrassing all right so now i should have enough white concrete to put in to replace these bits now that we've got our two monitoring stations built we should probably work out the exact bits we're going to do to monitor with it so i'm thinking if we have a big tv kind of station here let's not make it square that should do and um, plonk some some bits here so some daylight detectors and then we want to have some seats here so we shouldn't make them out of andesite given that the floor is out of andesite but that should do and then we do the same on this side so how did i do this it was one two three four one two three four one two three four and some stone there and then daylight detectors there which i'm missing one while we're at it, we should probably make some levers as well. So we've got another daylight detector there, some levers. We should probably make some buttons. Two buttons isn't going to be enough. So we'll do some, some nice dark oak buttons. That should do. And what else is there? Redstone torches I could probably do, because that might give it a little bit of legitimacy. So make that into redstone. 
dust and some torches which I need some sticks for again and do -ba -do -ba -do, do -do 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 -do, where are they there they are so that should be some control stuff there and oh wait and we also need some seats I can't make it out of hay or gold what other stuff do I have clay don't have enough acacia concrete can this be made into a slat into a stairs granite stairs that Oof, we'll have to do, I guess. I'm really running out of room. Anyway, I'm talking, waffling on a little bit. But here we go, some seats here. So let's see, we're going to go one seat here, one seat here. Then we can keep an eye on this and all of the monitoring stations. The same on this side. Like so, there and there, which are quite the same. Get rid of that. What else do we need? We want some control panel stuff here so if we have some levers and flick that one and do the same on this side and over here i think in this corner we should probably have some more control step panels so if we let me see do we have enough daylight detectors no we do not so another lever a redstone torch a couple of buttons what else did we have in here a bell that's going to be important because the bell is going to tell us if something is wrong so if we have the bell there and this, again, the same on this side. That will also be a detector if something is wrong. So like that again, a lever, torch, button, button. So all sorts of things to try and mitigate the disasters that could happen here. I've also realized that I've been playing with my in-game sound down. That's mainly because at the back of my base is a lot of clicking, but now you should be able to hear. Come on, there we go, the bell ringing, the things clicking the buttons going down and hopefully these things clicking so that is a little bit better now now uh, the question is what do we do with this area here and I'm thinking if we need to be able to get oh wait there's a creeper and a zombie let's get rid of this stuff as I was saying we should probably turn this bit into something a bit different I'm thinking in this scenario that we need to go from this area behind these bits into these bits here we want to be able to get in and not to contaminate the crystal or anything anyway so we need a decontamination area so that means we should build something like this here and a couple of doors here as well so let's work out how we're going to do that it does mean ripping up this floor again now that I've got the box going for this decontamination room, I do want to get some double doors in with iron doors so it can't just be opened using a fist. And that means having to do some redstone. It's been a long time since I've done one of these double doors. And, and frankly, I'm not even sure if I remember how to do it. But if I remember correctly, we need to come around like this. And I'm missing dirt, but there some redstone there, redstone there, on this block here, and then up into this, like so, I think, and then we fill in this, like so, and then if we put in one of these blocks here, and that. Now that we've got the doors working, you can see they're just stepping on one, it's going to get both doors open, same here, and same here. I think we should probably look at this and it really looks like b-boy's been going on a bit of a hunt storm's been killed and mirror may have been killed and now and now truffle oil or whatever that is who that is has been killed but anyway let's get back to this we probably shouldn't build it out of stone that's not really the best look because we've got gray here gray here gray here three different types of gray so i think we should build the walls out of something else and for that dark oak no oak let me see oak could do because it's a little bit different to the other colors and acacia might also work so i might need to get a few bits of each i'm thinking of using the stripped logs this time around because i think that would make a bit of a difference to what we're trying to do here quite a bit of wood chopping later we've got ourselves this huge box it doesn't look the best but what's inside it is more important we'll work on decorating it in a different episode but as you can see i've got myself some lights i've got myself some shower mini shower things what the aim is that you 
put on you are uh, decontaminated here and then you put on the hazmat suits that are going to be here speaking of which i'm going to make those out of leather armor so we need two sets we need to get ourselves two leather caps we need to get ourselves two of these and there we go two of these and one and two and two of these and then we need to dye them all white which i've got myself a cauldron here to do so, so where did my leather go and let's do that it kind of does look like iron armor doesn't it i suppose that's partly because of the add-on we've got which actually removes some of the brown bits in the leather armor so we've done one set that's probably not going to be enough in there but we shall see so one two iron is out Okay, we're going to need to get ourselves more water, which I shall go do. And there we go, we've got ourselves a rather basic decontamination room, two hazmat suits, a little bit of a drain here, and of course, one massively uh, not very decorated decontamination room. And I think that it's just about 20 minutes, which means we've run out of time for today, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!